പിന്നെ ഞാൻ ഡാൻസ് ചെയ്തു most biodiverse countries in the world combined with a rich culture and art scene this event is truly important now to formally welcome us to this afternoon's event may we call on the director of the office for initiatives in culture and the arts please give a warm round of applause to dr jerry r yapo magandang hapon sa ating lahat This is really uh, well, the privilege of UPLB okay, to host this event that happens once in 100 years. So this wouldn't happen in the next few months or years. So uh, I really thank the um, effort provided by this so many talented pool of artists from all over the Philippines. So at this point, I have to thank Mark Zuckerberg for providing the platform, okay, for gathering all these okay, talented artists in one big show, Art and Biodiversity. So our distinguished guests, Dr. Chodoro J. Erbosa, medical doctor and artist collector, an art collector of the UP system, the executive vice president, okay, our ever beautiful and charming, vice chancellor for academic affairs, Portia Lapitan, okay. Uh, Dr. Theresa Mandita Eslim, the Executive Director of the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity, ma'am, members of the Diplomatic Corps from the ASEAN, uh, other distinguished guests. Of course, we are honored with the presence of Miss Gemma Cruz Araneta, okay, <laughs> Miss International. So today is really a celebration of life and art. There's not much to be proud really about our economic and political life. Look where we are going. But when you go to uh, the ASEAN region, wow, the Philippines is really primus inter pares in terms of the production of art and, of course, culture-related activities. So how did I come to, uh, well, think about this exhibit? I think it started uh, a few months back when I tried my best to attend every exhibit opening, navigating the difficult roads, and taking all sorts of transportation in Metro Manila just to meet this talented group of artists. So, I was looking for only three things. Number one, you have to have a strong concept. And this is where maybe the idea of originality would come from. Although it's quite hard to wrestle with the idea of originality these days when everything would be declaring their work as original. So we might as well go for something quite extraordinary. Okay, number two is, I think aside from concept, I was looking for technique. Technique is the mode of rendering an idea. Third is, they have much of this in various degrees. I think I was looking for skill. They have a lot of this. So, I tried to be as inclusive as possible. 
I tried to make a few suggestions, you know, how difficult to make suggestions with artists, and I succeeded in convincing them that perhaps there's a better way of rendering it this way. So I got what I wanted, and we are all witness to this pool of talents in this uh, uh, show, Art and Biodiversity, which will last until 19 December 2018. So I hope that you will have enough disposable income to also buy some of these interesting pieces and enjoy the rest of the program. We'll keep it short. Okay, enjoy the artwork. So, mabuhay tayong lahat. Thank you, Dr. Yapo, for that warm welcome. Cedric, besides the wonderful pieces we are going to be seeing today, we are also going to be graced by distinguished people delivering messages of solidarity for this event. Indeed. So without any further ado, let us introduce our first speaker. So our first speaker was the Health Undersecretary of the Philippines from 2010 to 2015, where he helped achieve universal health coverage and led the modernization of public hospitals through health facilities enhancement funds and the public-private partnerships. Currently, he is a professor of emergency medic medicine and trauma surgery at the UPPGH, and he is also an adjunct faculty at the National Salihith Center at UP Manila. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the Executive Vice President of the entire University of the Philippine System. Let us all welcome Dr. Chidoro J. Herbosa. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, let me recognize Vice Chancellor Portia Lapitan, representing the Chancellor, Dindo Sanchez. Uh, of course, our director of uh, the Office of uh, Inter Initiatives for Cultural Affairs, uh, Professor Jerry Yapo. Uh, our executive director for ASEAN Center for Biodiversity, Dr. Teresa Mundita Eslim. Uh, the over 100 artists who are exhibiting here today, uh, thank you very much to our students, our faculty, and of course my cousin, Gemma Cruz Araneta. Uh, I'll tell you later how we are cousins. But let me give you my message for this particular activity. Uh, the University of the Philippine System recognizes the profound and not just uh, sentimental significance of our campus traditions, some of them surviving over 100 years. We are glad to see how we have grabbed these opportunities to gather around in the spirit of family and rekindle ties with the university, re-energizing ourselves for keeping the promises we have made to each other and to the university. We are even more glad to see how these traditions have embraced the times and remained relevant to our evolving niches, missions, and publics inspiring the younger ones to carry them on. I am glad and honored for this chance to join uh, UP Los Baños as it celebrates one of our enduring community traditions. I am also heartened to see UPLB establish a, as a College of Agriculture having its own Office of Initiatives for Culture and the Arts, enriching this campus tradition. It has been a long time coming for University of the Philippines Los Baños to have an office, office focused on directing the arts and culture scene on campus, acknowledging this dimension of the university life, which has long been flourishing. Arts and culture is to be expected in your beautiful, green, and mythic enclave, peopled with the human diversity of the country and beyond. Art in biodiversity will add color to the Loyalty Day and to the many artistic pieces already present on campus. With 100 works, and 100 artists and 100 different takes on the theme, this UPLB exhibit provides the public with a major artistic event celebrating the oneness of art and advocacy. This is a UPLB kind of event paying homage to its niche as an academic protector of nature. It also upholds the values we revisit during Loyalty Day, remembering the brave men and women who responded to the call of service for humanity 100 years ago. To the artists and the organizers, I wish you a successful exhibit run and more meaningful engagements in the future. To the viewing public, 
UP wishes to express its continuing commitment to serve and enlighten as the country's and your national university. Mabuhay, magandang hapon sa inyong lahat at isang maligaya at makabuluhang sa pang centenaryong Loyalty Day. Maraming salamat po. All right, thank you for the wonderful message, Dr. Herbosa. All right, so let us keep the ball rolling with our next speaker, representing Chancellor Fernando C. Sanchez Jr. Here to deliver another message of solidarity, we have Dr. Portia G. Lapitan, the UPLB Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. Let us all give her a warm of applause. Thank you very much. Uh, magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Teacher po ako, nagaantay ng sagot. <laughs> magandang hapon sa ating lahat at welcome po dito sa isang napakagandang event na ginaganap namin in celebration of the 100th uh, Loyalty Day no, here in UP Los Baños. The Chancellor cannot make it. Uh, because he has a very important commitment. So, sa mga magagandang event pong ganito, ang pinapadala po niya ay yung maganda din niyang Vice Chancellor. Ako po yun. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to read, no, I'm going to read the message of the Chancellor. Although he's not here, he has actually prepared a message no, for you and the rest of the uh, visitors to our 100th um, Loyalty Day celebration and this Arts in Biodiversity event. So let me first recognize our Executive Vice President. Um, we're very, very lucky that we were able to actually pull him out from the Department of Health. He was previously under secretary to join us in the UP system administration. Uh, and it's only now that I have uh, learned that he is actually an art collector. So marami po tayong artwork na ibibigay kay EBP, uh, Ted Herbosa. Of course, I also would like to recognize my friend who is now the current Executive Director of the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity, Dr. Mundita Lim. Um, her support to UPLB I know is 100% and it's actually indicated by her presence today, although I know she is a very busy person. Now, let me recognize also, of course, the director of the Office, uh, office for Initiatives in Culture and the Arts of UPLB. In his short stint as director, he has really done a lot of initiatives, and this one is one of those. Not, so thank you, Jerry, now, for those initiatives that really advance you know, arts and culture in UPLB. Let me recognize as well you know, the other uh, guests who are actually from the diplomatic corps. I know we have the first secretary of the Thailand Embassy, uh, First Secretary Nat Chom, with us. Okay. Yes, let me recognize also the 100 artists who are actually participating in, the, in this arts in biodiversity. And all the arts patrons and patroness, patroness who are here with us, exemplified by no less than the Miss International Gemma Cruz Araneta. My colleagues in the University of the Philippines, Los Baños, I saw the former Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. Bernardo, and the former Deputy Director General of IRI, her husband, Dr. Nanding Bernardo. Okay. At yun din pong mga kasamahan natin, mga kapwa ko, maninilbihan sa UPLB, magandang magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. At ito po yung message ni Chancellor. It is my pleasure to join you today as we open UPLB's year-ender exhibit, Art in Biodiversity. 
As one of our country's leading academic and research institutions in biodiversity conservation, UP Los Baños is constantly seeking ways to better protect our environment and sustainably use our natural resources while educating the public about the effects of various human activities in our planet's ecosystem. Southeast Asia contains 20% of our planet's vertebrate and plant species, as well as our world's third largest tropical forest. Here in UPLB alone, the biodiversity that we have in Mount Makiling is more than the biodiversity of the whole United States of America. Our region also has an extraordinary rate of species discovery with more than 2,200 species described between 1997 to 2014 alone. However, despite our region's inherent rich biodiversity, its biodiversity is under serious threat. Southeast Asia is also considered as the world's most threatened region for mammals. Art in bio Biodiversity is an exhibit that features 100 works of art made by 100 artists that aims to depict the beauty of Southeast Asia's flora and fauna while also raising awareness on the very serious dangers faced by our region's biodiversity. The exhibit also aims to foster dialogue and self-reflection on how we have been using our natural resources and what we can do to help protect them while using them sustainably. As part of UPLB's 100th Loyalty Day celebration, we hope that this exhibit will inspire visitors as well as our students and alumni to actively take part in finding sound and sustainable solutions to protect our country's and region's biodiversity. It is also our hope that through this exhibit and similar future endeavors, scientists and artists can work closer together in further raising awareness on relevant current issues and encouraging the public to take positive action. And by doing so, Upilus Banos hopes to contribute in bridging the divide between art and science, art, humanities, and science, as well as looking for new avenues for interdisciplinary cooperation. In fact, more than just bridging, it is UPLB's ardent initiative and vision to effectively and creatively fuse, integrate the three, arts, humanities, and science, so that whatever outputs, be they knowledge, products, services, science generates, they will be of greater service to humanity. With all those that we have said, we hope that all of you will be one with us in UPLB to really make sure art and humanities and science will work for the good of the humanity in this world. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. UPLB will always be there for you to ensure good life in this ever-changing environment we call the world. Magandang hapon po muli at makiselebrate po tayo sa iba pang mga activities ng Loyalty Day. Thank you for that message, Dr. Portia. Now, before we move on, there are exhibit catalogs and souvenir kits available for everyone interested. I think they're just at the registration booth. So if you are interested in getting an exhibit catalog or a souvenir kit, uh, please avail at the registration booth. So moving on to the next speaker. Our next speaker is a licensed veterinarian specializing on wildlife management and diseases. Our speaker has extensive national, regional, and international experience on biodiversity and protected areas. She was the chairperson for uh, various 
ASEAN committees related to biodiversity and the environment. Among these committees are the second technical and legal panel meeting negotiating the ASEAN framework on access and benefit sharing back in 2003 and the 16th ASEAN working group on nature conservation and biodiversity back in 2006. And ladies and gentlemen, this is just a few of the many, many committees. She is currently the chairperson of the Convention of, on Biological Diversity and Subsidiary Body on Scientific, Technical, and Technological Advice for 2017 to 2018. Our speaker is the first female Executive Director of ASEAN Center for Biodiversity. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm round of applause for Dr. Teresa Mondita S. Lim. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for the generous introduction. Uh, I'm happy to be here. As mentioned, I'm a, I'm a graduate of the College of Veterinary Medicine, but uh, not here in Los Baños yet, so that shows my age, no? Still Diliman, when the college was still in Diliman. Uh, to our distinguished guests, uh, members of the Diplomatic Corps, uh, from the Royal Thai Embassy in Manila, First Secretary Yanini Nachom, welcome. Uh, Dr. Chodoro Herbosa, the Executive Vice President of the University of the Philippines, who is not only uh, an art collector, I heard he's also a very good dancer. <laughs> Dr. Uh, Portia Lapitan, uh, my colleague from the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Uh, she used to be the director as well of the Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau, and we worked together on mangrove uh, conservation. Um, Professor Jerry Apo, thank you for inviting us, the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity. Uh, of course, uh, Miss International, Miss Gemma Cruz Araneta, Miss International forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> She used to be uh, the Department of Tourism Secretary as well. We worked very closely with her when I was still with the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Okay. And of course, to all our featured artists, uh, a pleasant uh, evening to all of you. Uh, I'm very happy about the title of this exhibit, Art in Biodiversity. Biodiversity is the variety of life on Earth. It will thus always be connected to humanity, and therefore the arts. Also called the web of life, biodiversity provides a kaleidoscope of inspiration to people due to its splendor, which can be seen from the smallest microbes to the largest ecosystems. Its natural aesthetic appeal gives people hope, healing, and appreciation of life. Aside from being a source and subject of inspiration, biodiversity also supplies the materials and media that can be used by people to transform their creative thoughts and imagination into interesting and stimulating works of art. It provides an array of colors, texture, scents, and other media to be used by humans to express their emotions, beliefs, and creative ideas. More than that, biodiversity is found in the everyday basic activities and needs of people and society. It is a source of water and food, materials for clothing. Earlier, I was talking to Dr. Herbosa. Biodiversity can also provide medicine. A lot of the raw materials from the forests, from the seas, uh, substances can be extracted from them. and. Uh, now, there's a lot of medicine that can be produced from these raw materials. Shelter and livelihood. It is the interconnectivity and diversity of life on the planet that enables human survival. The ASEAN region is home to almost 20% of all known plants and animals, 30% of global coral reefs, 
35% of global mangrove forests and over 200 million hectares of forest cover. The ultimate goal of the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity is to help conserve these treasures in the region for it to be sustainably managed and used and equitably shared for the well-being of people. This commitment to encourage people to conserve biodiversity by promoting awareness of its values is reflected through communication, education, and public awareness program of the center, through the center's efforts in mainstreaming biodiversity into different sectors. Communicating biodiversity is not a walk in the park. There is still a long way to go in terms of awareness raising among the non-conventional types of audiences. ACB has been working with governments, scientists, researchers, and other international organizations in its awareness campaign. However, the values of biodiversity need to be further shared to the household heads, media, youth, business, businesses, urban planners, and the community leaders, among other untapped audience types. And one powerful means of communicating biodiversity is through art, a creative way of getting the message across even without saying a word. In this collection, the artists promote appreciation to biodiversity through visuals, from paintings to wood carvings and installations. They come in various sizes, shapes, and forms, yet they still resonate the urgent call for biodiversity conservation and environmental protection. I commend the Office for, the office for Initiatives in Culture and the Arts, or the OICA, of the University of the Philippines, Los Baños, for spearheading the art in biodiversity as one of the commemorative activities of the UPLB Centennial Celebration. I also laud all the artists in this exhibit who captured the beauty and brilliance of biodiversity in their masterpieces. I especially would like to recognize one particular artist who has been helping the center spread awareness on biodiversity through her amazing works of art. A very talented young lady, Ms. Samantha Kaspar, who was diagnosed with autism when she was three years old. But this did not discourage her parents. Renowned chef, Ms. Martin, Mr. Martin Kaspar, and her doting mom, and former PAL flight, flight attendant and image model and my classmate in high school, Ms. Mitzi Aragon Kaspar, to find ways to discover and develop Samantha's exceptional skills and capacities. She uses acrylic, silk paint, canvas, and piña cloth for her paintings and her work. And her work has been exhibited during the Fashion Arts Autism Benefit event in New York in 2017. Sam was also one of the artists who was with special needs selected by the Banana Peel and Unilab Foundation to design a new line of products to be sold in the market. So aside from an artist, she's also a good swimmer, a singer, and a musician. She's a world-class ambassador for autism awareness and now also for biodiversity and art as her works are now displayed here as part of the exhibit. So please uh, give Samantha a big hand. Thank you, Samantha, for your contribution to this exhibit. So this activity is truly an inspiring event that will stir the minds of everyone when it comes to pondering on the value of biodiversity reflected in more than 100 amazing art pieces. We hope that you can help spread love for biodiversity among your peers in the art industry. And we, and we believe that this is just the start of more collaborative activities aimed at inspiring more people to save our Earth. Let us all embrace diversity and celebrate life by appreciating these amazing artworks. Again, congratulations to OICA and to all our artists. And happy 100th uh, anniversary to you, Pete. Thank you. Thank you for that wonderful message. 
Our speakers really made us appreciate art and biodiversity even more. Exactly. Moreover, besides our wonderful speakers, we also have international dignitaries present. Such as Her Excellency Yanani Nachom, the first secretary of the Royal Thai Embassy. And also His Excellency Vo An Son, the first secretary of the Vietnam Embassy. Let's give them a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. We also have other guests of honor. We have the patron of the Iloilo Museum of Contemporary Art, which just opened last March 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a huge round of applause for Sir Edwin Valencia. Up next, we also have a managing consultant and an esteemed art collector. Let's give a huge round of applause for Mr. Chris Hautea. Also, we have here in our presence this afternoon Miss Gemma Cruz Araneta, together with her cousin Encarnacion Laurel, which is who is a painter and a writer. So both Miss Gemma and Miss Encarnacion are the great granddaughters of Maria Rizal. So. Wow, you have a lot of talent going on here. Sure, let's give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. So earlier, we mentioned that we are going to showcase talent this afternoon. And while we already have great art to be revealed later, I think this event calls for a little bit of music. So to ease us with the smooth tunes of his saxophone, playing Paraiso, please welcome Dr. Antonio Jesus A. Quiloy. Sing along if you know the song. Huh?
Incredible performance from Dr. Kiloy. That is a very relaxing rendition of an old classic. But ladies and gentlemen, if you think that is it, you are mistaken. We actually have a very surprised guest, a surprise performance from one Mr. Rico Aunzo. He will be singing Magsimulaka by Leo Valdez. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a huge round of applause for Mr. Rico Aunzo. Magsimula ka, bati ng kay ganda mata ng may ngiti siyong mga mata sa pagkakairi gumising na ang buhay ay masay. Pagdalang po sino pa Magsimula ka Tuporin ang pangarap mong tunay Habang ang lakas Hintay Baka masana Sayang naman ang buhay Mawawala ng saysay Isa lang ang buhay mo Kumilos ka Gamitin mo kung may nais ang puso mo, mangarap ka, abutin mo upang ito'y makamit mo. Magsikap ka, simulan mo. Magsimula ka, pilitin na tukasin ang harap. Magdanas man ng maraming hirap Ang mithiin mo pag naging ganap Langit ng pagsisikap, iyon ang malalasak Iisa lang ang buhay mo, kumilos ka, gamitin mo kung may nais ang puso mo, mangarap ka, abutin mo Upang ito'y makamit mo, magsikap ka, simulan mo Isa lang ang buhay mo, kumis ka Gamitin mo Kung may nais ang puso mo Mangarap ka Abutin mo Upang ito Makamit mo Magsikap ka Simulan mo Upang ito'y makamit mo, magsikap ka, simulan mo.
Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Igo Aunzo. Let's give him another round of applause for a very powerful rendition of Leo Valdez's Magsimulaka, which is actually very fitting because I hope that through this event, Magsisimula na tayo to appreciate art and biodiversity even more. So once again, a round of applause for him to show our appreciation. Well, speaking of appreciation, we've mentioned earlier that we have 100 artworks ready to be showcased later on. Now, let us take this moment to appreciate the 100 artists that made those masterpieces possible. Ladies and gentlemen, let us give a huge round of applause to the 100 artists behind Art and Biodiversity. Artists, please stand, stand up, up to be formally appreciated once again the 100 artists behind art and biodiversity congratulations artists you deserve it you deserve it all all right moving on now we are in for another treat because we have another performance that will lead into something special later on. But for now, we have to settle for their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen them earlier uh, this afternoon. I hope you're looking forward to more. Let us welcome the UPLB Filipiniana Dance Troupe. Artists, ladies and gentlemen, the UPLB Filipiniana Dance Group, once again, they will be guiding you to the convening area right outside. So if you can, just please follow them outside. Especially for the artists. Once again, let's give them a huge round of applause. 
Thank you for attending uh, Arts and Biodiversity. This, of course, would not be possible without the Office of the Initiative for the Culture and the Arts. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, my name is Cedric Galea. And I am Kim Riyasora. And we've been your hosts for Arts and Biodiversity. Thank you very much.